inch on the shot platform I made for it to drop or pr primer drop it, you could do better um, this one works probably 95% of the time and then I, of course I made the little box back there to um, hold the primers um, all in all this thing is a heavily heavy machined well made nice press that for me works great I mean remember I'm um, like like this is game club I bought this earlier this month in January of 2019 and I bought these in quantity of 500 for 20 cents a piece delivered I'm a little bit under 20 cents a piece delivered and so um, unless you have a really specific load for birdshot that you know I mean it makes sense if you're a skeet shooter and you're shooting three four hundred rounds a week maybe and you do not want to be beating the crap out of your shoulder so you you're loading the weakest load you can load with the lightest amount of shot that you can load to consistently beat up those clays when you're on so that might make sense but for but for most people if your time counts for anything you cannot load this less expensively so for right now this isn't really a press where I use where I'm doing trying to do 600 rounds an hour um, this is a press where I'll probably and I should have shown that um, my um, freaking thing isn't I need two hands to do this but the hopper on this hold on camera go back in okay up in the air we go so the hopper on this does come off and you can do it so it doesn't make a mess um, there's a release and that release is right here you just pull on that lever there and it comes up and so to dump these hoppers you would do something like this you probably take your shop hopper which and my angle's all wrong all right so you got all this shot you hear the shot coming um, got all that shot and you got to be super careful because the shot sloshes down and it will amaze you how fast it will come out it really once you get to about that angle it comes out like a sandblaster I mean it really shoots out and it'll knock these lids off for sure so um you know you gotta plan on okay I'm gonna do this one first so I've got a couple shots so you're gonna take it off and you have something to catch them um, I also forgot to show it but this works perfectly I printed that um, and then you'll do your powder but you have the option of this one thing I did is I put a little pin that'll stay I put a little pin, where's it at? Right there. And so if I, that little pin, so if I take, so I have the option of this press where I can just simply pull the pin, and remove the top of the press. Okay. Otherwise it's, uh, if I have a hand, I'll show you I do. Otherwise it's this. It's just a simple bolt and nut in there that um, holds it on. By doing that, then the thing's not nearly as bulky, and I can do those, you know, like, then this press becomes a pretty decent press for, um, you know, just sticking a case in, a single case, like maybe you're going to be loading um, you know buckshot and then my shooting so I lost the primer and then just physically set a primer there set it over like that and then you could dump a little bit of powder where's the camera at? you could dump a little bit of powder into well when you had it here dump your powder into it Do your wad or do your wad manually, it's up to you. Bring it back. If it's heavy buckshot, drop your buckshot, stack your shot. 
um, and swing it over to your, um, I got the wrong starter crimp, final crimp, etc. So you can do one shell at a time with this thing pretty easily. Uh, and so most of the time, well I don't know about most of the time, but some of the time I don't have the top on it. It's a little bit less visually imposing. But anyhow, this is drawn out long enough. I hope that I caught the angles that you're interested in looking at. I mean, for most people this, this video is just strictly trivia. Um, this is your um, seating bolt here, or I mean your final cramp here. And a good starting point is if you're looking from this side of the press, a good starting point on that would be to see, I think it was five threads over here and then three threads up there. That'll, that will give you some sort of a halfway decent first crimp to work off of for whether you're working um, you know, an eight point type case or if you're working a five point or six point rather. You know, that, that's a good reference starting point and you know, and then to know that, that eventually these shortly these prints will be on Thingiverse or the designs will be on Thingiverse so that you can um, you know, print these parts for yourself and we can put this back on together. Okay, uh, Pacific Polar Bear 600, pretty good little press, but you got to get your primer thing working correctly or you'll be slower. Um, but it's not a big deal to prime all your cases first and then run them through this too. So, you, you know, I mean, you can get away with a few things on this thing not working correct, especially if you're using it as a single, single step type press and just simply progressing your cartridge case. But um, this thing can load fast, but for most of my loading, it's just single step. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out.